This is a 3D print that I'm going to use as a pattern to cast in aluminum for a future project that I've got coming up. And I want to get the outside smoother. I don't want these all these ridges. So I'm going to work on today uh, getting it uh, <laughs> smoothed out. So I'm starting out with a, uh, a foam block. And I'm trying to go across these ridges. Now at this point I'm not trying to get all the ridges out, I'm just trying to flatten the high spots. Alright, so I'm going to prime this with a filler primer, a high build formula. Uh, it helps fill imperfections, so that's going to help fill those lines up and I'll sand it in between, I'll sand it in between each coat. Alright, so this is what it looks like now after three coats of that high fill primer. It's got the lines pretty good. Uh, there's some places like this that are going to need a little more work. But other than that, it's looking pretty good. So I'm going to take some 120 sandpaper here and give it a little work over. Alright, I'm just going to continue to work my way around this and I'll be back when I'm done. Alright, so here it is after sanding. Now, I did wind up using some wet sanding. I just, I used this same paper. It's not really wet, wet dry paper, but it held up pretty well. Um, because my sandpaper was clogging so much with the paint. So now, I'm going to take it and get another coat of uh, spray paint on there. I'll just do that and then come back. Alright, so here it is finished. And let me get it there close where you can... You can actually see it. You can see all the lines are gone. Now it's still not perfect. Um, you can see, see like right there, there's still a little roughness. There's still a few lines. But for what I'm using this for, that's all I really want to accomplish. Now if you were wanting to try to make this a finished part, then you would just wet sand this a little bit and then hit it with a high gloss and um, it would it would look really good. What I'm doing with this is it's a, it's a pattern for aluminum pouring and I have found that if I leave it with this kind of a, a dusty, I mean this is a primer and it's a flat and I say dusty but um, what I found is is this holds the parting agent that I put on there better and gives me a cleaner pour so I don't usually put a high gloss on my patterns. Now this is actually going to be, I'm making a vintage large dial pressure uh, gauge out of this so in the in the months to come hopefully in the months to come uh, look for that project uh, coming up on my channel anyway well i hope this was helpful to you thank you for watching